Perezvaros against Newcastle United. And suspension and injury rules out six of the likely starting 11 for Perezvaros under new trainer Zoltan Varga. The Hungarian champions who lost in the Champions Cup preliminary round to Gothenburg come here second in the Hungarian table. Newcastle United decide to leave David Ginola on the bench. But it's very much the experienced starting 11 that was scheduled with number nine, Alan Shearer, and number 10, Les Ferdinand. The England strike force also playing for Newcastle United. Leif Sundell is our referee. He's in action in Euro 96 and referee Holland against Scotland. Well, the last time Newcastle came to Hungary in 1968-69, they came away with a three victory and went on to win the Fairs Cup after losing the Charity Shield to Manchester United in their first league game to Everton. It's been a great season so far for Kevin Keegan's side. Two in the centre and Serda Cech. The Czech keeper makes the save. Well, as well as starting a lineup includes eight Hungarians, two Ukrainians and a Romanian. Shearer. And I'm sure that Kevin Keegan has uh, emphasised to his players the need for an away goal this evening. And he goes back to their defeat last year in Bilbao when they lost 1-0 away from home. Now there's an opportunity, this is Hornoff. It's a dreadful error by Serdacek and it's 1-0 to Ferris Varos. And Hornoff gets the goal. Seven minutes played, and Ferenc Hornoff has opened the scoring here. And Serdacek well out of his area, and there was nothing really that Peacock could have done about it. He was a long way out the penalty area, and Hornoff with a simple finish, and Ferris Vardos lead. Well, Newcastle have always been vulnerable in defence, and the last thing they wanted to do was go a goal down so early. And again, this time with only Watson as cover, Sonicek was well out of his penalty area. Well, David Batty went in and gave away the free kick. Eight is uh, Miriuta. So Ferris Varus of Hungary lead by a goal to nil. Miruta, he drives it straight at Cernicek. Well, it's a hostile atmosphere in Budapest. But I'm sure nothing like what it'll be in two weeks' time with the Newcastle support. One of the most uh, fervent in English football. Now the drive again. It's Selzer who gets down this time. Gillespie with a shot from just outside the penalty area. A quarter of an hour gone. Fellas Vardas lead by a goal to nil. Keith Gillespie, who was part of the uh, famous transfer of Andy Cole from Newcastle to Manchester United. He went as part exchange. David Batty, who's just back from a European suspension following that uh, infamous uh, sending off last year when playing for Blackburn Rovers in the Champions Cup. Two in the centre, and he's hit the post, and a chance now for Venice Varos. And Listes makes it two. Where, oh, where was the Newcastle defending? And for Kevin Keegan, this is turning out to be... A disaster in Budapest. Absolute carnage in the Newcastle defence. Beresford was well beaten to that one. And Listus made no mistake. Well, it was a fine first out of the post. Saving Newcastle there, but not the second time. 2-0. Well, never as a 
and away goal being more significant than if Newcastle could grab something here. Beardsley to Alan Shearer. Ferdinand goes to near post. Here he is! It's a brilliant finish from Les Ferdinand. And Newcastle have got an away goal. And after 24 minutes, they're back in the tie. And it's Les Ferdinand who heads home powerfully. Alan Shearer's cross. Well, it was Beardsley to Shearer to Ferdinand, who was arriving at the near post. A great goal. Well, Newcastle's sixth campaign in Europe have all been in this uh, UEFA Cup. And it's been the second round, it's been the bogey. The last three attempts, they've lost in the second round. Last year, having beaten Antwerp 10-2 on aggregate in the first round. Free kick. Well, certainly that goal has brought a lot more vigour and pace into the Newcastle play. And they always look dangerous. That's wide. And Shearer. In tremendous form at the moment. Got the winner against Derby in the league on Saturday. And of course, last Wednesday, his two goals brought England from an embarrassing situation of being a goal down against Poland. And Fanez Varos. He led 2 0, must surely have thought that they Place in the last 16 of this competition was getting ever closer. The locals tended to be a little pessimistic before the match about their side's chances, mainly because of the suspension of Jagrids and uh, Milanovic and four other injuries. Shearer, Batty, and this is Shearer. Alan Shearer from David Batty's cross. And that was pretty poor marking for Fellas Varos. Batty supplying Shearer. And Newcastle have drawn level at 2 2 in a dramatic night of European football. Shearer was calling for it and he wasn't picked up. Just by the penalty spot, and he blasted that one in. And the 500 or so travelling Newcastle supporters in full cry now. It's got to be really advantage Newcastle to each with those two crucial away goals. And we've only played 35 minutes. Beardsley. Here's Shearer. The chance here, oh Lee, and is it in? No. Well, what certainly was against Newcastle there, as Lee came in and hit the inside of the post. Did it cross the line? It was very close. Nilias Miriuta. Here's Listes. Miliuta again. Good spell here now. Can he find a shot to match the build up? Miliuta might drive on it's well over. That's not going to trouble Sertacek. Vasily Miliuta. Over the bar, it remains 2 2. Into the last 30 seconds of a pulsating first half. Ferris Varos to Newcastle 2. Remains the score. This is Naji. That's a corner, and it's their first corner of the half as we have 15 seconds of normal time. Ferris Varos with their first corner of the first half, and they're not in any hurry to take it. Well, the crowd are a lot quieter now, to, certainly since the home side with 2 0 in front. I don't think we're going to have too much stoppage time either because it's been a pretty clean contest. Beresford getting the yellow card, but really not much reason for the referee to add too much on and he doesn't there goes the half-time whistle with Newcastle as always great excitement great entertainment and it hasn't been short of that again